Um, it's a, always a pleasure to speak to legislation, of course, that we pass here in the House of Assembly, and it's always a great honor to represent the people of Harbour Grace, Porter Grape District. I say it's a strong district. Um, but my perspective that I'm bringing to this, um, the honourable member, my colleague, who I respect and consider a friend uh, across the way here, said uh, he just made a point about taking away the voices of people throughout the province and whatnot. Well, having said that, uh, the perspective that I want to speak to to this bill is that um, that exact that that thing that was exactly what happened, with regards to the the the, the, pro, the current process that was just in place. And I'm going to speak on behalf of cabin owners. Cabin owners, of course, in a, in in my district and in the region, in particular the area of the old track, um, it's an unserviced road, and but they were getting charged with a $180 hefty fee annually. Annually, uh, of course, uh, in an unserviced area, she didn't and, so, you. and, so, and uh, some of these areas, of course, are, are not even accessible year-round. So this is something you, you want to talk about taking away voices. Well, I say uh, to the honourable member, Mr. Speaker, that you know the, the, the voices of these cabin owners were taken away. Sure. I mean, they tried to implement a, a sure. one-size-fits-all, uh, sure. you know, with regard to the to the garbage tax or the trash tax. And I also have to commend I also have to commend the group coat that Sorry. have come together. You want to talk there, about democracy? There. We. Sad democracy exercise in its right with this group of citizens who have come together. They took the initiative, and you want to talk about volunteers? They're also volunteers, and they spent a lot of time uh, coordinating meetings with government. You told him. I also invited the chair at the time and, and the executive director of the Eastern Regional Service Board to my district some years ago. When I first became elected, this, this was an issue that was brought to my attention. Um, I took the initiative. I, I've, got, I've got the, you know, these, these officials out in the district for Harbour Grace Port Grave. We actually held a meeting at the Spaniards Bay Legion and it was an opportunity where I could bring these cab owners together face to face with, with these officials who make these decisions. And, um, you know, it's, it's been, and I'm speaking on behalf of the people I represent, but they said this is simply not fair. It's not fair to go and to implement a fee for areas, uh, and I'm told by cabin owners that these, this, that the service wasn't even offered in, in the areas. I've talked about picking up garbage. Well, there's people have been watching. People have been setting up their own cameras, their own monitoring devices, and uh, they say and that they simply didn't get the service, but yet being charged for the service yeah. and having to go to the small claims court, Mr. Speaker, and spending money out of their own pocket and. Most of these residents are already paying municipal bills, hefty municipal bills each year, of course, for the taxes and services provided by the municipalities in which we all live. We all know, of course, we have to pay these fees. And I want to commend all, everyone who comes forward as a municipal leader, a municipal councillor, uh, certainly a volunteer firefighters, because they are relentless what they do for our communities. And so I don't think anybody's taking away from, from those efforts and, and that dedication. Because I have, the, I would argue, the strongest volunteers in my district in Harbour Grace, Porter Grave, among firefighters, municipal leaders there, um, committee leaders, you name it, run the gamut. But I just wanted to get up and say this because it's something that I've spent a lot of time on with my colleagues here in this House, um, certain colleagues who will also be speaking to this Act. Of course, an Act to amend the Regional Service Boards Act uh, 2012, Bill 58. I think it's very important. I commend the Minister for the changes that were made. Um, just recently, of course, uh, with regards to, to taking away this, this 180 $80 robbery, I'll say, Mr. Mr. Speaker, I think it's robbery to be charging these cabin owners that fee and, again, not being offered their service, not being able to access these areas year-round. The old track is not even accessible uh, for six months of the year. And so it's just simply, it doesn't, there's not a one-size-fits-all. It's my understanding that service boards across the province work with their people in other parts of the province and other regions, and I want to see that happen here. So as you can appreciate, my priority are the constituents I represent, and I will always vote, vote, uh, voice their concerns, and, and I will do everything in, in the fairness. Of course, uh, no, one's, no one is saying we don't want to be fair. Of course we want to be fair, we want to exercise our democracy, but I, want, I felt it very important to get up and say that. Again, I commend the changes made. We're getting positive feedback from the districts. Again, uh, the cabin owners in the old track, Sutton's Pond, please. Spread Eagle in the neighboring district of uh, Carabineer, Trinity Bay to Verde. And I look forward to this healthy Order, debate, please. but again, I commend this change. I'm proud of what our government has done with this change. And again, uh, it is an honor to represent the people of Harbour Grace, Port of Grave, and Mr. Speaker, I will always get up and represent them and their, and what's fair to them and their concerns. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Thank you.